Chargers fall to five and eight after getting beat down by Broncos 24 to seven. Also lose Herbert. I would say that this is probably the season for old Jason, Justin Herbert because Justin Herbert is a gamer. He is a guy that will play hurt. He's a guy that, you know, has played hurt and everything before. But at this moment in time, though, what's the point? You know what I mean? Because the more and more you go out there, the more and more you're getting beat up, the more and more it's just like, you know what? This is an absolute wrap on the situation for this guy this year. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I have defended – um I have defended um, Brandon Staley profusely over the last few years. And uh, pretty much this is um, where I just pretty much say it's time. You know what I mean? Brandon Staley got to go. Okay. And Brandon Staley is the guy that is pretty much, I won't say he's holding this thing up, but I just think that they need a fresh start. I think, you know, he's wasted two very, very good, Seasons, you know, what I mean, with two, with with some of the with the best roster, top five roster in the NFL, and he hasn't even been able to win more than ten games with this group. Blows a twenty-seven to zip lead. Enough is enough. I would say you let him finish the season to be nice, so then you don't have to pay him early. But then I would say, in all honesty, in reality. You have to let him go. And no, you don't keep Kellen Moore here either. What you do is you do the smart thing. You go get Eric B. Enemy, the guy that absolutely tortured you for a decade as the Chiefs offensive coordinator. He was overlooked many times. Make sure you right the wrongs. And then you can go ahead and you can give yourself a chance to actually win this division because now you'll have a, a actual coach that's going to put together a pretty good offense. And he'll let he'll probably hire one of the better defensive minds in the league that haven't been able to become a defensive coordinator yet and put that defense over the top. But when you got Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Derwin James, you're not going to have them for that much longer. And literally right now, if you're a Chargers fan, I understand your frustration. You you do you earn the right to be frustrated with this situation. At the end of the day, yesterday was just an absolute. This was their worst game of the season, pretty much. They they were flat from the start. But you know what? Give Denver a lot of props. Denver came out with them on a mission, and they always uh, they always will uh, you know pretty much um, put it together in a sense to where. Um, you know, that they look good, but I told you guys early in the season, this, the Broncos are a team that have a veteran quarterback and a veteran coach. When they get into the flow, they'll be a tough team to beat, and that's where we're at right now. This team, after, you know, starting the season off 1-5, and five, I find themselves 6-1 uh, and one since that point, and they're playing great football, and they're a game out of the West right now. So that's pretty good, and they have a win, win on the uh, – Chiefs this year as well too so this was a huge win because a lot of us didn't see them winning this game and you look at the stats you know Herbert's 96 yards yesterday under 50 almost over 50 percent for completion percentage but he had a 45.2 QBR yesterday that was awful and he got sacked four times and threw an uh, interception as well too that he has to clean that up Keenan Allen had a six reception game but what 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 does it matter, man? If if it's only for sixty eight yards, and then Quentin Johnston ninety one yards as well too. It just was a bad bad game, dude. And um, it pretty much this was just a very bad you know situation for the Chargers yesterday. But all props to the Broncos for doing what they have to do. You know, they weren't going to come lay down for the Chargers. They didn't care that it was a home game. They didn't care that the Chargers got playoff ramifications headed into this. Now things have changed up a little bit. Now you have a 7-6 and six, um, Broncos team that finds themselves right in the playoff picture at this point right now with Pittsburgh, um, Cleveland, and Indianapolis, Houston as well too. Um, also you throw on Buffalo into this situation as well. It's a wild, wild situation going on now to get to the, um, 
playoffs right now in the AFC. So with that, we move forward. But all in all, the bolts, you already know what time it is. It's, it, this is not a big discussion today about what's going on with this team. It's very simple. They're not going to make the playoffs. And what's going to happen is they're going to fire their coach. OK, and I think instead of just you got to fire everybody. Pretty straight up, you got to fire everybody. And I'll keep it real with you. One of these golden receivers, one of these vet receivers that are on the squad, they're going to. OK, because at the end of the day, the Chargers are going to say, you know what, it's time just to go ahead and rebuild this thing. You know, let's see what we can do for Justin Herbert. Let's go get them off into line, all that good stuff. We're investing in guys that are not worth the money. So we move forward. All right. So the Browns get gutty win versus Jags, move to eight and five, and are locked in for the wild card. Yeah, the Browns pretty much locked themselves in. The Browns really just need two more wins on the season, and they'll be in the playoffs. Ten and seven gets you in. But the Browns, when you look 